Neon Coat is a revolutionary new type of spray-on ceramic coating. Developed from the same technology that encapsulates nuclear waste, Eon Coat creates a dense protective ceramic within minutes. This process gives you incredible corrosion and abrasion resistance, one hour return to service time, zero flame spread, and absolutely zero VOCs, haps, or odors. For steel or iron, Eon Coat coatings do not require a primer and needs minimal surface preparation. A NACE 3 or NACE 5 level of preparation and the resulting flash rust provides an ideal layer of oxides for Eon Coat's reaction. While there are several ways to spray Eon Coat, it is typically sprayed with a two-part pump setup very similar to the kind of equipment your applicators are already using. The most popular application setup for Eon Coat is using the Eon Coat Predator assembled with Graco components including the saddlebags and the probler. Let's take a minute to explore the operation and setup of the Predator pump. Eon Coat strongly recommends using half inch stainless steel check valves and quarter inch whip hoses. Also, we recommend quick connect fittings at each end of a 3 inch supply hose. Your compressed air source should be capable of delivering 90 PSI at 40 CFM of clean dry air. In addition, you'll need two clean rinse water 5 gallon pails and a spray off pail with a hole in the lid along with small pails for draining off purge prime valves. The Predator requires two people to safely operate, an operator and a sprayer. Though Eon Coat contains no VOCs and no haps, we recommend a dust mask, safety glasses, and gloves. Also, take a moment to lay out all hoses and check for cuts, breaks, bulging, or any other damage. There are two air lines in this system, a main pressure feed line and an air purge line from the unit to the gun. Eon Coat is a two-part system and the coating reacts and sets very quickly when they are mixed. To prevent cross-contamination and resulting damage to the hoses and or system, the lines should be marked to ensure that EN coat parts A and B are always sprayed from the same side of the system. Securely connect the lines to the unit and the probler. Next, fill two clean 5-gallon buckets with water and set two one-gallon pails under the purge prime valves. Now the unit is ready to test for leaks. Switch saddlebag valves to draw water from the two five-gallon flush buckets. Open the valves on the probler and unlock the trigger if so equipped. Set the Predator's main pressure to 30 PSI and water will then be pumped through the system when the trigger is pulled. Spray off water into a bucket and observe all connections and lines for leaks. Fix any leaks that are present before attempting to spray Eon Coat. Use caution to avoid injection injury. Leaks will lead to performance problems with the paint and cause blockages. Charge and thoroughly flush the system through the gun with water. The line pressures should only mildly fluctuate and be fairly equal. If all of the connections appear fine, increase main inlet pressure to 80 to 90 PSI. Now you're ready to fill the saddlebags with Eon Coat. Always utilize the same side for Part A and Part B. Part A is shipped in the black bucket and Part B comes in a green bucket. Remember, Eon Coat must not be thinned or otherwise modified to ensure the machine will stay on ratio. Set the feed valves to draw from the saddlebags. Spray off the remaining water into a five gallon bucket until Eon Coat reaches the gun. Switch saddlebag valves to feed product and continue to spray into the spray off pail. When product reaches the Probler spray gun, use the handheld digital thermometer to check for proper temperature increase, which signals the reaction. When the temperature increase or reaction begins, spray a small amount on a piece of cardboard to visually ensure the water has been sprayed off. Then you're ready to spray. 
Spray orientation is important with ENCO. For optimum results, ensure spray gun is kept at 90 degrees to the wall with no wrist break. Arcing the gun can result in the reaction taking place before the material reaches the substrate. Trying to flash out the edges will result in a very rough and uneven surface and higher coating cost. Also, try to maintain a consistent gun to part distance from the substrate. Ideally, you should be 36 inches from the substrate. Always start and stop your spraying pass off the substrate. Do not feather the trigger. Instead, try to quickly, fully pull the trigger to release the material quickly. You may want to limit how often you trigger off by maintaining a constant trigger pull. While this may be somewhat less efficient, most operators find it easier to prevent packouts. Spray through corners to minimize buildup. Alternate direction of coats between vertical and horizontal. A typical pass of your gun applies 3 to 6 mils of Eon coat. Wet film thickness is virtually the same as dry film thickness, and for most applications, 5 mils is sufficient. If no pigment was added to the material, the surface may appear translucent. Ensure area is fully sprayed and step away. When the material flashes out, it will become opaque. A noticeable difference will begin in minutes. Take care to avoid overcoating the substrate. It sometimes takes a short time to learn to trust yourself. Instead of your eyes, rely on your technique and check for reaction using a temperature gauge after spray. Monitor temperature increase. Normal thickness coats should see an 8 to 10 degree increase. The thicker the material, the higher the temperature. Monitor line pressures and product levels in saddlebags. If line pressures become very erratic or unequal and either momentarily drop to zero or suddenly rise well above normal, stop and check for a packout. If you must pause over five minutes during spraying for any reason, shut off the main air feed, close probler feed valves, and bleed off line pressure through the purge prime valves. Failure to do so may result in product crossover in the probler. If additional spraying will occur within five hours, turn off the probler valves and shut off the air motor. Leave system charged with water and remaining product in the saddlebags. Ensure the lids are secure. If spray operations will not begin again within five hours or the product is to be switched out, remove saddlebags pour off remaining material into original containers and then wash out the saddlebags. Remaining material can be mixed together and reacted into a solid for easy disposal. Disassemble the probler and inspect for wear in the spray tip and mix chamber. Remove all product remnants from the inside and outside of the gun. Failure to do so can result in spray malfunctions and erratic spray operation. Apply a minimum amount of white lithium grease and reassemble. Eon Coat is a revolutionary coating that is unlike any existing coating technology. Its chemistry, application, and performance are like no other coating, so do not hesitate to contact us with any questions. Remember to avoid uncontrolled mixing of the Eon Coat parts and use proper technique when applying the coating. And be sure to use a temperature gauge to monitor the reaction to maximize results and you'll have the Pro's Edge working for you.